we just have one dining hall on campus, um, which a lot of people are really surprised to hear because there are some places that have like 12 or more dining halls, but I really like that. I think it's really fun. The dining hall is absolutely a social hub. I think that's definitely one place that you see a very good portion of campus at once, and so I know that I'm always running into people while I'm there and saying hi to everyone. Um, you can go to brunch on a Saturday by yourself, and then suddenly all of your friends are also at brunch, and then you just have plans for the rest of the weekend. So I really enjoy just having one dining hall. I really characterize the D Hall as being a place where I can meet my friends, talk to them, laugh with them, um, rather than the food. The food is there, but then just th that space is kind of it's quite freeing. But also if like you, are with like a couple other people and you want like a more private setting or whatever, there's also this space in the back with the booze that I like going to sometimes too. So I think kind of depending on what kind of mood you're in, maybe a little bit more social, a little bit less social or something, there's always like a space to go in the dining hall that feels like a, a nice kind of community. I think my biggest strategy would be um, to pick a table and then you and your friends just always sit at or around that table because it's so easy. Um, there is, you know, a lot of people in the dining hall and so sometimes it's hard to find your friends and so if you can just walk in right away and be like, oh look, there's already three people at our table, um, it's really easy to find people that way. I like to eat dinner early. <laughs> um, I think it's a little bit quieter when you first get in and then I think you can find a seat and then everyone starts to join, so I enjoy that a lot. The architect who designed the D Hall, I think, um, originally planned it to kind of flow a little bit like a river. And so um, when you walk in, there are different stations and you can kind of go through them a little bit. And then uh, it opens up into the larger seating area. And then also there's a branch that goes upstairs. And so I think it kind of circulates a little bit. I never heard the river thing before, but that makes a lot of sense. You do walk in and then on your left you have one station, on the right there's another station. You keep walking through um, and there's the options like there's, you know, a very clear path that you can follow. There's some things that are open every day like the sandwiches, um, the pasta, you can <laughs> usually get that on a daily basis as well as burgers, pizza. And then we have other options for like people who are vegan or halal. Gluten free options as well. Yeah, I like the food in the dining hall. There's also a lot of different stations that are open, and so there's a lot of different choices. So there's really something that everyone can enjoy. And don't forget about the stir fry, Gil. That's, yeah. that's the key. Yeah, the line, it's <laughs> worth the wait. It's worth the wait. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I'm a big fan of breakfast. Uh, not many people go to breakfast, but it's my favorite meal of the day at the dining hall. A big eggs guy. <laughs> I worked at the uh, saute station which is the, basically like the pasta bar. And after making so many people's pasta, I basically cracked the code on the perfect recipe um, <laughs> for me, which is to go to the spice rack. The spice rack, mm -hmm. severely underused. People sleep on the spice rack. That's true, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, true, yeah, yeah, you know, that's true. You know, like, like literally, I, I, the amount of people that are like, this could use a little kick of something and then just complain about it when I'm like, there's a whole wall of just spices. Put that in your food, it'll taste so much better. I know, my favorite thing to do with the spices is I'll get like a bowl and I'll put like olive oil in it and then I'll put like spices in it, like what, um, like I'll put the Cajun seasoning, I'll put like chili powder. It's like so good, it tastes yeah. so good. I also think the Carmelita bars are the best dessert in the dining hall. That's like not many people, like a lot of people sleep on Carmelita bars and I don't think you should. People <laughs> really sleep on the soups in the dining hall. Um, and I, I think that's a serious mistake. There's like five or six of them that are like absolutely stellar um, and really get left alone. So yeah, no question, it's gotta be the soups. I think, I think it's the yogurt. <laughs> yeah, I do, I eat this literally every single day, sometimes like every single meal um, is to take the yogurt, have a little bit of granola and um, some peanut butter and then sometimes a banana along with it. So that's, that's like my go-to meal if I like don't know what to eat. Um, but I, get, I literally eat it all the time, like I highly suggest it.